All right, Shalom Rastafari. We call this one Obama. Beware of the Ides of March. I mean, we can't even really even say Obama beware of the Ides of March anymore because today, Friday the 15th, uh, 2013, it is the Ides of March. Now, this connects with uh, Julius Caesar, you know, and remember when Obama was running, they... uh, they pictured him like, you know, like like a kind of a Caesar-like character right here, as you can see in this in this kind of Photoshop image. But there's another image too that was on the cover of um, was on the cover of uh, one of these one of these um, newspapers. I don't know if we have the picture over here, but Obama has been likened to to everybody, you know, and. Some people say, well, that's not really fear because it's like hedging your bets because is he like a Caesar? Um, is he like uh, Napoleon? Is he like a, a Jesus? Um, you, you remember this right here, or, or like Kennedy, you know? Is he compared to a type of Kennedy figure? You understand? And what is so interesting is that all of the above could apply if one properly rightly divides, you know, if, if they rightly, uh, if they rightly um, interpret, uh, you know, so it's like a combination is going on. But I just want to say this visit he's about to do to Israel, there's a lot of people who've been talking about, you know, what it means or when he's deciding to go there. And it said that he's deciding to go there like five days before um, the triumphal entry of uh of the Moshia of of Christ into uh, Jerusalem, and I thought that was kind of interesting, right there. I checked it out, and you know, there's a lot of videos out there. Different people have different um, takes on it, but one thing that is highly is is highly um, probable is that now that he's going to go there because he's announced before he kind of announced it, then he said he's going to wait for like a coalition government to to happen in in Israel. So his going to uh Israel was dependent on what um Binyam Netanyahu, uh the prime minister or whatnot of the state of Israel does with a coalition, whether he has a coalition thing. Some say, well, he's gone out there to usher in this uh this this, this peace. Right? He's going out there to usher usher in this um peace between um, the Palestinians and the Israelis, and it's supposed to be like um, the prophetic, um, the prophetic uh, antichrist kind of covenant that goes on for, for like seven years or so. So there's videos out there which touches on that as well. And we kind of updated this right here because Maybe it won't be just white people, but let's say, will people kill Obama too? Now, we're not saying that Obama is a Jesus, you know. Let's, let's, we're not saying that. Other black folks, but then think about the, the, the first century Jews, right, who were, who were Ethiopian Hebrews, black Hebrews. And if you don't believe me, then check the Roman historian Tacitus. You, you know, you can read the Roman historian Tacitus who wrote at the time of the Tisha B'Av or 70 A.D., when the true um, um, seed of the house of Israel, some went into captivity, others went into, into Africa and into Ethiopia and into different parts and went, eventually end up in West Africa and the transatlantic slave trade and, and all that history. But you remember that Fox, Jamie Fox, he said, um, giving praise to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And so there's a lot of black folks who basically, in a sense, have done like what the, what the Israelites did to the true right, to the true Messiah, right, to, to the king of kings, to Allah Selassie, instead, right, of the true um, Messiah upon the throne of David, you know, they've chosen another. They said we have no king but Caesar. Isn't that what the Bible reads? So how interesting we have this, this, uh, Ides of, um, this Ides of March, this Ides of March prophecy. You check out some of our our, our earlier videos, right? We did a video on the Ides of March, touching on this kind of very same issue. And wouldn't you know it, right now, the 15th of March, Obama officially announced that, yes, 
he's going to the Middle East, going to Israel and some other places like that and everything, and he's supposed to go there for the 20th, right? He's supposed to reach there the 20th and maybe stay a day or two. Now, if he reaches there the 20th, this is the five days. This is kind of an imitation of what Jesus Christ did when he rode into Jerusalem, you know, Hosanna, you know, the one who comes in the name of the Lord. So we see this likeness right here to, like, Obama, right, to Obama and kind of Jesus Christ on a level, even if one will say it's more staged because it's political, so you know that's all staged. But after it was first announced and a lot of um, – um, biblical Bible people got to work on saying, hey, this, is, this could be the Antichrist thing right here because Obama is going there. And some already say, yes, the Antichrist, so forth and so on. Now, what we saw immediately was this Ides of March thing from Julius Caesar, right? Remember what happened to Julius Caesar? I mean, could something over here be kind of similar to this? I mean, could we say... Caesar, beware of the Ides of March, like that seeming blind man, you remember the, the, the prophet, that one, but he dismissed that, you know what I mean? Is he like Kennedy on a certain level, right? Is he like uh, Napoleon, right? And Napoleon, right, um, was going for world order, but the only thing that stood in Napoleon's way was actually the papacy. And now they have a habeas or whatever pop -um thing, they have a new pope, right? And then that was on the 13th. Then on the 14th of March, 2013, wouldn't you know it, Binyam Netanyahu and the Israelis, they said, we have a coalition government. We have a government. That was the 14th. The very same day that they, they have announced that they found the God particle, right, the 14th of March. And then the very same day that is, um, uh, who is his name, um, Einstein, Einstein's birthday. It's the very same day as Einstein's birthday. Now, people say, well, what does that have to do with each other? Remember, these things are not just happening, um, just a coincidence. You know, they don't happen coincidental. We, we, this is the matrix. You forgot that this is a matrix. It's, 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 it's a world that's been pulled over your eyes to blind you to the truth. So these things just don't happen, but math is very important. Numbers are very accurate. You understand why do they choose to do things in time with certain alignments or certain prophetic days? What kind of spiritual energies are they seeking to tap into? It's kind of too late right now to really say, Caesar, Obama, beware. Caesar, Obama, Obama, Caesar, you know, beware of the eyes of March. It's, it's too late. And if we did, he probably would have a, have a, have a Chesapeake, you know, um, a grin like he has right there, or what you mean, you understand? You know, he probably doesn't believe in that. He believes in what he believes in. But how interesting that all these things have kind of aligned and are aligning, you understand, in this kind of divine um, prophetical order. Now, anything can happen. We, we, we're not making any prophecy about it. What we're doing is we're watching and we're seeing and we are exposing these things because we don't have any fellowship with these unfruitful and unprofitable works of darkness, but the scripture says to expose them. So we're putting this forward, how interesting that Obama at first announced you going to go to Israel. A lot of folks got out there and said, hey, isn't that just like you're going to go to Israel at the same time that the Messiah, that Jesus entered into Jerusalem before five days before Pesach, five days before Passover, right, and talking about the two states to solution and dividing the land prophecy and maybe a possible peace. Some even say that the Pope, right, some of the videos out there, there's a lot of videos, like I said, they're all over the place in the sense that everyone was just kind of touching from the videos that we saw. One person had said um, that it's possible that they would have a Pope. This is before they, they had their Pope or they elected or chose or they – called him Maury Povich and asked him who's the father, and he decided any, many, many more. But the guy that they chose actually was the runner-up to Benedict. They, you know, I mean, they say he has a, a mind like Benedict and a heart like uh, John Paul, and immediately he said he's going to do for the poor. He's going to help out the poor. So you never know. He might go over there, too, and maybe they'll have some kind of um, um, anti-kumbaya or something like that. 
But for us, here's where we're at right now, seeing that many of, you know, many black people really kind of look to Obama as a type of, uh, not all, but, the, but there are some people who see him in a Jesus kind of way. So he's going over there. If he keeps the same schedule he announced on the 20th, which will be five days before Passover 2013, which is in the same kind of alignment, an imitation of when Christ rode the donkey. Oh, did I say he's a Democrat? Rode the donkey into Jerusalem. So now some people say, oh, that's just coincidence. That's reading too much into it. It's not reading anything into it. It's just asking how many coincidences can you have what, until it's no longer a coincidence. I thought a coincidence meant two things happening simultaneously, not like 20 or 30 or 50. It all depends on who's counting and how high up you're counting, right? So we're in this state right here. Here's what we're going to conclude and pick up in the next part. The Great Whale, Jonah Prophecy. <laughs> 